In this video, we will discuss section 7.4 on partial derivatives. Say we have a function y, which is a function of x1, x2, x3 up to xn. x1, x2, x3 are independent of one another. What we want to know is if x1 changes, what happens to y? So that means we want the change in y given a change in x1. What do we know? We want the limit as x1 approaches zero, as a change in x1 approaches zero of now what happens? x1 changes, but x2, x3 up to xn remains the same. That is our new point, minus fx1, x2 up to xn, all over x the change in x1. This is called the partial derivative. The partial derivative f1 is simply the change in y given the change in x and we take the limit as that change is small and this is equal to the partial derivative which we denote by delta curly d y over curly d x1. That means f of 2 is the partial derivative of y with regards to x2, which is the limit as the change in x2 is small of delta y over delta x2. So what do we do for an example, if we have y is equal to 6x1 plus 4x2 squared, the partial derivative of dy dx1 is equal to 6. The partial derivative of dy with regards to x2 is equal to 8x2. What happens if we have interactions between x1? So we have y equal to 6x1 plus 4x2 squared plus 4x1 x2. The partial derivative dy dx1 is equal to 6 from this term plus. Now we have this term which will be 4x2. The partial derivative dy dx2 would be equal to 8x2 plus 4x1. 2 times 4 is 8. x2 2 minus 1 is 1. x2 to the power of 1 multiplied by the term in front of it. 4x1 x2 to the power of 0 which is 1. Economic applications of this part of these partial derivatives. First of all, think of market demand. How do we achieve market demand? We add all the individual demands together. So we will have individual x1, individual x2, individual x3 and y will be our market demand or if we want world GDP we simply have country 1 plus country 2 plus country 3 and that will be world GDP so if for example we want China's impact on GDP we want the partial derivative of world GDP with regards to China 